One of the oldest dog breeds in the world. You'd think that pugs would have lost their appeal over time, but since the mid-2000s, these fun-loving canines have seen their popularity skyrocket. Let's look deeper at the reasoning behind the global epidemic known as the Pug Bug. Often described as the clown of the dog world, pugs are well known for their extroverted and humorous personalities. They have waddled their way into becoming one of the most iconic dog breeds in 2016. With their wrinkly faces, large bulging eyes and curly cute tail, you can see why this breed has become a smash hit. We spoke to several pug owners to find out what their experience was like with this comical breed. Um, I chose a pug because they're just such cute little dogs and they're full of character. Well, she's absolutely nuts. Um, she doesn't like tally. She looks at the she looks at the tally any sort of well, any program now, she just goes nuts. A bit crazy. She still thinks she's a puppy. She's four in December. She's great with everyone, all people, all dogs. I've got a Rottweiler and the best friends. Yeah, she's very good with kids. She isn't that playful really. She'll have a little play, but about ten minutes she's had enough then. Like Betty, she always looks like she's furious all the time because her eyes are always bulging out of her head, but they're just lovely. Dead cuddly dogs, dead loyal. That they are such good little dogs, but they just full of life, totally full of life all the time. Like she's still like the day when I had it. Usually she's absolutely nuts. The back end will go in and she'll bomb around the living room as quick as she can. Um, but it's like, it's good crackers because she's just non-stop fun. But I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't swap the world. She has meant. So playful and sweet, pugs can also be mischievous, clingy, and also jealous. They are often compared to being like children, never really growing up. Yeah, she she wants to be with you a lot. Like she'll follow, she, if I go upstairs, she'll follow me upstairs. She's like a shadow. She's very clingy. Wherever you are, she has to be behind you all the time. She's naughty, yeah. She runs around, she steals his food. <laughs> yeah, they just like the food. Just greasy all the time. Obsessed with food, walks, and barking at the window as well. Like she'll wake us up at 7 o'clock in the morning and once we're awake she likes to go to sleep then. Yeah, she has two sides to her, a good side and a naughty side. And I'd say 50-50 with both of them. <laughs> As we stated at the start of our documentary, over the last 10 years the popularity of pugs has skyrocketed. Not only in pop culture, but also in accordance to the United Kingdom Kennel Club. In their comparative table of the registrations of the toy breed category, in 2006 the number of registered pugs within the UK was 2,861. But compared to 2015's whopping 10,087 pugs registered within the UK, we can see a clear rise in popularity even though the total amount of toy dogs had little to no change over the nine years. And from looking at the data from the first two quarters of the Kennel Club's quarterly registration statistics, we can speculate that the pugs number will increase again. But what has caused this sudden spike in popularity? We suspect the increase of celebrities owning pugs has caused many members of the public to follow suit. Celebrities like George Clooney, Rob Zombie, Paris Hilton, Jared Butler, Hugh Laurie and Callie Osborne, as well as YouTube personalities such as PewDiePie have also started owning this breed. With the rise in popularity of the pug, various companies saw a merchandise and gold mine, creating all kinds of pug related items, from pug onesies to pug mugs, from pug backpacks to pug socks, and from pug bath plugs to pug masks. Pugs are old, well in terms of their origins they are anyway. They were first bred in ancient times as companions for ruling families in China. In fact the pug was seen as a dog of great luxury by emperors. And you wonder why they are so expensive today. Pugs would later be found in other Asian countries and were later imported to Europe in the 16th century. Pugs have constantly been regarded as having a calm temperament and being an incredibly affectionate breed. Interestingly, it is often thought that the modern and beloved King Charles Spaniel actually derived from breeding with pugs. It also became highly valued in royal households in Europe. In Holland, the pug became the official dog of the House of Orange. After Pompey, the pug alerted his owner, William of Orange, to the approach of Spanish assassins. Pugs were also popular with Queen Victoria, who had many pugs, including Olga, Pedro, Minka, Fatima and Venus. We were curious as to see what people today find the most attractive about these hot dogs. 
We conducted a face-to-face -face survey about what people find the most attractive about the Pog. 2% found their grumble and grunts the most attractive. 4% found their extroverted social nature to be most attractive. 12% found their large expressive eyes to be the most attractive. 8% found their comical personalities to be the most attractive. And a mammoth 74% found their baby-like faces to be the most attractive attribute of the Pog. Although they have a royal history, they sure don't act like royals. In pure contrast to their heritage, these dogs are well known for their farting, snoring, wheezing and grunting. Yeah, she does all of them. She does it, especially, you know, if, you, if you're in a big crowd of people, she does do a big, loud drum, and you're like... And they stink, they do stink. And sometimes they're silent and you're just sat there and you're like... <laughs> I know it's here. It's always here, you can tell. She's got that face. <laughs> oh yeah, you know about it. Farts and all that. <laughs> she absolutely stinks. You stinky, aren't you? <laughs> but yeah, she's always had a snorting, sneezing, coughing. <laughs> but yeah, they sound like this all the time. Breathe horrendously. Everyone thinks they're growling on a wall. People go to stroke them and they're like, oh no, it's not friendly. She is, she's just breathing. She's not growling. <laughs> <laughs> and they snot as well, they like snotting in people's faces. People have never seen before and they get right in the face and then they breathe and they just get covered in hug stuff. <laughs> it's like having a little baby next to you because she just snores, farts and grunts all night. <laughs> the trademark cute squished in face of the pug does come with a price however, as this breed suffers from brachycephalic syndrome which makes it difficult for this flat-nosed breed to suck in a lungful of air. In an interview with The Guardian, Dr. Rowena Packe, a researcher at the Royal Veterinary College, said the health issues faced by brachycephalic dogs were linked to the body shape developed through years of selective breeding, in that they find it far more difficult to exercise or even do normal things like eating. They actually sell specific diets for these dogs because they find it difficult to chew and swallow. Pugs also suffer from many eye-related and temperature related issues as they do not do well in extreme climates as one of our interviewees knows too well one time she was just traveling in my car just from a walk as usual and i opened up my car that when i got home um and she was just lying there and i thought oh she's just asleep and i went back and i touched her and she, she just felt like just not like normal and she wasn't moving and i looked at her and I knew something wasn't right. I grabbed her straight out of my car and ran in the house and ran all water over her. Um, and it was late evening. I had to take her to the emergency vet. Turned out she got heat stroke. Um, she ended up in the vets all overnight. Um, and then when I went to go and collect her in the morning, at seven o'clock in the morning, she was still in the same state as she was in. Couldn't move, just limp, lifeless. It was awful. Um, and then she went to my vets during the day. Um, they told me that they thought that she'd had a stroke because she just wasn't responding. Heat stroke normally they come around straight away. Um, not straight away, but after a few hours you'd expect on, after being on a drift that they would be okay. Um, but she just wasn't responding and then they gave her just sort of the last, just the last sort of choice. Um, they gave her some steroids and antibiotics um, and she just started walking then, she was fine. And touch wood, she's been fine ever since. <laughs> yeah, they're a pain, they are hard work, they, they take a lot of time. We're prepared to put in the work for them, and they, they're great little dogs. <laughs> they're lovely, so ladylike. <laughs> Our conclusion is that this affectionate, loyal, and lovable joker breed has charmed the likes of royals, celebrities, and the public alike. It seems that everyone is caught a pug pug. Skyrocket. <laughs> <laughs>